Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Mass as we celebrate as a parish family, as a parish community, Eucharist, this fourth Sunday of Easter, Good Shepherd Sunday, as it's called. We'll hear more about that in the Gospel. You know, I was thinking it was the last weekend we were here, physically here at St. Victoria, celebrating weekend Mass was the weekend of March 14th and 15th. And Deacon Ray preached the homilies that weekend, and he used the image of a teardrop. And this small stone I have in my hand is a symbol of that teardrop. It's in the shape, kind of fashioned in the shape of a teardrop, this small stone. There's many of them strewn over the cover of the baptismal font. And someone commented, little did we know that that symbol of the teardrop in these COVID-19 days would take on new meaning and such significance. And so as we gather for this Eucharist today, to bring all the sense of loss and, and heartache, maybe confusion and fear, as well as compassion and new appreciation that these COVID-19 days have stirred in you and me. As we begin our prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. We bring ourselves to prayer, remembering the heartache and the loss in these days we endure. We say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Remember the confusion and the fear we sometimes experience in these days, we say, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And re remembering the passion and the new appreciation that has been stirred in our hearts because of these days, we cry out, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of the will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you give us new strength from the courage of Christ, our eternal shepherd. And you lead us to the joy of the saints in heaven. Be with us now as we celebrate with Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And as we do, we will have our... We call it our huddle time, our gospel time right now. We've got Arlo here. So parents back uh, home, if you want to get the kids to gather up close to the TV, you can tell them we got Arlo. He likes to say hi. Go away. How's everyone doing good? Hope you're doing We got a great day going. You know, this weekend was supposed to be First Communion weekend. And for the second graders, I know... That's a big disappointment. That's hard, you know. But don't lose heart because someday, we don't know when, but someday we are going to celebrate First Communion in fine style. And who knows, maybe it'll mean all the more to you to have that day. But in the meantime, on this Good Shepherd weekend, remember Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who never forgets you is always with you. Let's pray. Lord bless Arlo, all these little ones, and all of us here as we hear your holy word today, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, the word of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom you confirmed, wh whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, 
and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. Please join in singing the responsorial found on the worship aid at stvictoria.net. is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd nothing shall I fear the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd, nothing shall I fear. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leaves me. Now he revives my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. Nothing shall I He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, nothing shall I have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, nothing shall I fear. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the, ones, to, to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. 
By his wounds you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, dear spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him. And the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of a stranger. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize that he was talking, what he was trying to tell them. And so Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal, and a robber to destroy. I came so that you might have life and have it in abundance. The Gospel of the Lord. A few years back, I reconnected with a friend from grade school. And always a great guy in high school, Tom went to the wild side just enough that he was the guy that we all wanted to be like. But later on, 
sort of all caught up with him. It was drugs and alcohol that um, in the end kind of brought him to his knees. And so for, for some years, he kind of wandered his way through life searching for that something, but never quite being sure what that something was. And then one day he woke up and he did the hard work of recovery. And he sought forgiveness from those he had harmed and hurt. And he made amends. And then more recently, Tom was diagnosed with cancer. And he fought it for a while, but stopped treatment when they did all they could. And knowing that he was soon going to die, along with his wife, Elise, invited three friends from grade school to be the team that would walk the journey with him down the home stretch. And I was one of those three friends. I'm quite an honor. And I remember when he knew the time was getting near, so he asked if I would anoint him with the sacred oils. And of course, I agreed. And so with Tom and his wife, Elise, at his side in the center, we all gathered around in a circle and anointed him. And when we were done, I never forget what he said. He said, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in life. I've done some stupid things. But right now, I have the life I've always wanted to have. I'm at peace. I'm loved. I love all of you. I'm so very grateful for the life I've been given. Thank you. I'll never forget that moment. My friend Tom died a week later. And so from the gospel today, John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and life in abundance. And so we can ask, where is there abundance in your life? The abundance that Jesus wants you to know for your life. And how do you and I need to change so that for that abundance to shower over us the way it did for my friend, Tom. Where do you and I need to change? What do we need to change in our lives for that abundance to shower over us the way it did, my friend, Tom? And so, with all that we believe in our hearts, I invite all of us now to make a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And we do not walk this journey alone. And so praying with others now to a God who always hears us, we bring our prayers. For the church, that we may hear and respond to the voice of the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and cities, that they may be mindful of those who are most vulnerable and in need as they develop and carry out policies and laws, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those, who pay, for, who, for those who face persecution as a result of their commitment to live as Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live in fear, depression, or anxiety, that they may know God's love and compassion through our care and the service of doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died and all who grieve for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those affected by the coronavirus, influenza, and other illnesses, may the sick be grant granted a swift recovery, the medical personnel and essential workers receive the support they need, and those grieving the loss of loved ones be su sustained by the hope of eternal life in the care of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This first weekend of the month, we pray a blessing now over these written prayer requests taken over the course of the last month and all the other prayers that are in your hearts to stay back home, you're with us. And so we pray this blessing Lord, in this most extraordinary time, we ask, ask your special grace and may that abundant life be showered over us as we put our trust in you and open our hearts to you and, and in compassion for one another. As we, as we ask this blessing, praying through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that these gifts, yours and mine, be pleasing and acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. Praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Lord, you renew us by these Easter mysteries. May the continuing work of Jesus, our Redeemer, bring to us the abundant life he promises. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we dwell always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy in, than ever in this Easter season, for Christ has become our Paschal sacrifice as he offered his body on the cross. His perfect sacrifice fulfilled all others. And as he gave himself into our hands for our salvation, he showed himself to be the priest and the altar and the lamb of sacrifice. So it's the joy of the resurrection that renews the whole world. We join now with choirs of angels and saints in this hymn of praise. Your holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The night before he died, Jesus took bread, he gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life-giving bread, this saving chalice, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you through one another. Humbly, we pray that by partaking in the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Holy Father, with Bernard, our Bishop, with Andrew, his auxiliary, and all your people. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
Have mercy on all who have died. Bring them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him and in the unity of the Holy Spirit that all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all that is evil. Grant us peace in your days with the help of your mercy. Free us from sin. Keep us safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, kingdom and, the and the power and the, power and the glory, glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, my peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her the peace and the unity of your kingdom, for you are the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And may that peace be extended to all in our world. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not I am worthy not that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, and my soul and shall be healed. healed. Shepherd's care, God leads us. With the Father's strength, God guides us. With the Mother's love, God nurtures us and cradles us in gentleness. When we are lost. 
lost and cannot find our way, God cares for us and keeps us safe. For God is our light and our faithful guide, who leads us with a shepherd's care. With a shepherd's care, God leads With a father's strength, God guides us. With a mother's love, God nurtures us and cradles us in gentle arms. When we are weak and cares for so long, God strengthens us to face each day. For God is our rock and our saving well, who guides us with a Father's strength. With a shepherd's care, God leads us. With a Father's strength, God guides us. With a mother's love, God nurtures us and cradles us in gentle arms. Knowing that most of you uh, are not able to receive communion physically, not here physically, that does not mean for a minute that you're not with us and part of this prayer in a powerful spiritual way. This prayer of sp spiritual communion expresses that idea. Lord Jesus, you are present in the gift of your body and blood, which we celebrate in Eucharist. Since at this moment, we are not physically present at your altar to receive you sacramentally, we open our hearts to you as we receive you spiritually. As we embrace you with our love, you embrace us with your love. And so, now in Holy Communion with you and one another, as the united body of Christ, we ask this prayer in your holy name. Amen. Amen. And so let us pray. Father, eternal shepherd, we pray you watch over the flock redeemed by the blood of your son and lead us to the promised land. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, as though we're not able to uh, celebrate weekend liturgies, the mass with you to have you here physically, it does not mean as a parish we are, we are closed. We are shut down at all, not at all. We have, uh, I'm going to rattle off a list of things that we have going and are flourishing right now, even in spite of these uh, hard times. We've got women's book study. We've got women's wholehearted living. We have, we have men's groups meeting, all of them, all of them by Zoom. We, uh, as a staff, we meet weekly and pray for you and for one another uh, weekly. We have the... Um, Phone Pal, we have many programs. Wednesday night, Faith Formation Live, we have the, it's called Date Night. Uh, we have uh, Thursdays, we have a Word from the South Campus that I offer a little show short. And then we have our, our Mass is streamed and we have um, pondering prompts to help kind of open up the Word that you can help you prepare for, for uh, Sunday Mass with the Gospel and that kind of thing. So all of that is available. Um, we look forward to the day that, that we can be back here, that um, those teardrops will be there, but uh, maybe change from tears of sadness to tears of, of joy. And in the meantime, uh, let's stay together. Let's pray together as we're doing. I'm so grateful for our lector and the sacristan and our music. Terry and Amy and, and Mark and Liz with as our camera, all important camera crew.
crew. They tell me where to stand, and that's what I do. So let's uh, join in a hymn of praise. You are the voice of the living God calling us now to live in your love to be children of God once again. Praise for the light that shines through the night from darkness to light, from death to new life and praise to the morning that rings for the sun to open our eyes to the Lord to open our eyes to the Lord for you are the voice of the living God calling us now to live in your love to be children The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And so on this Good Shepherd Sunday, may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Mass. Let us now go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you.